Recently, Jodie Foster has gotten into trouble over her criticism of Gen Z. A Guardian article went with the headline, Jodie Foster says Generation Z can be really annoying to work with. And the follow-up in the mail says she has been slammed for using divisive, tired, and bizarre rhetoric. Oh, these boomers passing on their generational trauma. Jodie needs to be hunted down to the deepest, darkest gulags of the internet, put in a stockade, and have rotten tomatoes thrown at her until she learns how to slay, bestie. Or does she? See, the problem with newspapers is they lie. Why do they lie? Clicks. I mean, it worked. It got me to click on the article, and when I actually looked inside it, Jodie didn't really say any of that, did she? Here's the actual quotes from inside the article. They're really annoying, especially in the workplace. Foster joke. They're like, nah, I'm not feeling it today. I'm gonna come in at 10.30 a.m. Okay, one, it says Foster joked. Since it's text, we don't know if it was sarcasm, parody, something like that. And since she works in the highly time-demanding film industry, yeah, a joke about time management would work. Two, if she's actually serious about it, I am completely on her side. The film industry is run with military-grade timing. You can't just show up whenever you want, because if you do, hundreds of people will be stood around waiting for you, not able to do their jobs, wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's fine. If you don't want that pressure, that is fine. Don't be in the industry. Follow your soul elsewhere. The second quote, which seemed serious, was this, quote, In emails, I'll tell them, this is all grammatically incorrect. Did you not check your spelling? And they're like, why would I do that? Isn't that kind of limiting? Again, kind of on Jody's side. Since when was spelling correctly limiting? When was understanding something, using the English language, communicating with each other, limiting? And this comes from the generation that normalized text speak. Please, 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 for the love of God, do not take us back to the days of WUU2, NM, HBU, that millennial translation for you Zoomers. What are you up to? Not much, how about you? And I completely agree with some of the backlash on Twitter. Don't pass on generational trauma. Don't kick the ladder down behind you. Be kind to those just starting out. Respect the difference in generations and how everyone's in a different place in their lives. If only Jodie could have done that. Oh wait, she did. In that very same article. The rest of the article was basically her lavishing praise on Bella Ramsey from Game of Thrones and The Last of Us. Just shame, saying she's wonderful, introducing her to L Woman, just being generally a good mentor. Jodie Foster, turns out, has mentored loads of young actors. But no, 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 no. The Guardian and the Mail didn't want to talk about that. They knew experienced actor takes younger actor under their wing wasn't enough clickbait. And like they always do, they pushed generational hate as a way of generating ad revenue. Good journalism.